In this video, I'm gonna be talking about transmitter hunting. Well, pirate hunting, really. Sometimes you have to protect your signal. And sometimes you'll have pirates jumping on your signal thinking, I won't get caught. You'll get caught. And I'm gonna give you the tools or the know-how of how to catch these pirates. So, I'm outside here in Sedalia. Is this Sedalia? Sedalia. Sedalia, Colorado, just south of the Denver Metro. And I have a station that I'm gonna be finding. I did cheat a little bit. It is a real broadcast station and I know where it is, but the whole point is the process of finding this transmitter site. So let me go pull out the spectrum analyzer and the other tools and I will show you how to find a pirate radio station. All right, let's go. I like trains too. This is kind of distracting. All right, I'm back. A uh, little distracting with the train going by. And now I have planes flying over. Ah, so distracting for me. So the tools that we are going to need are a spectrum analyzer, portable one, because you're gonna to wanna to take it with you. You're going to need a loop antenna. Now we'll talk about the loop antenna here in a second. Obviously a cable to connect the antenna to the spectrum analyzer. Um, adapters if you need them, and a GPS antenna. Now, a way to map, really. The GPS antenna for this spectrum analyzer, the GPS antenna attaches to the spectrum analyzer, it has a little receiver inside, and it knows where it is. I can put a map in the spectrum analyzer and it makes interference hunting so much easier. But, we won't just do that, I'll show you that, but I'll also show you how I do it on a map. Now, let me talk about this loop antenna. Now, the loop antenna is sensitive in the direction of the loop. So it's sensitive in this direction and it's sensitive in this direction, but it's not sensitive in this direction. This is called the null. This sensitive section is pretty wide. So we're not gonna be using that to find where the signal is we're going to be using the narrow null. This null is very narrow. And so we're gonna look for that when we find, when we're searching for the signal. So I'm gonna connect this to the spectrum analyzer, get the signal, get the, 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 uh, the station that I'm looking for up, and I'm gonna start finding that null. So as I spin around, I'm gonna find the spot where that signal drops out, disappears, gets lower, whatever, on the spectrum analyzer. And once I do that, I'll mark that direction on a map and go, okay, that's the direction that I believe that it's coming from. Then we'll pack everything up. We'll go to the next spot and we'll repeat this whole process again. Pulling the antenna out, doing a reading. So the other thing is, is that when we do this, we wanna be away from walls, tall buildings, cars. So right now I'm in the middle of a parking lot. So I'm gonna actually relocate more over in the middle of the parking lot where it's a little bit more clear because I have this stuff around. But as I do that, I'm going to find that null with the spectrum analyzer, mark it on the map, and boom, off we go. And then we'll move on to the next spot. That's the plan. I haven't done this in a few years. <laughs> I've been wanting to do this for a while and wanting to share this with you because again, this is something, like I said, we got to do with broadcast engineers. So, all right, let's get things set up. I've got my spectrum analyzer, have my loop antenna. I have a GPS antenna attached to this, but um, apparently it's not working anymore. Oh, that's a bummer because that's a cool feature that it, that's on here. We'll do it the old fashioned way. Okay, so I've got my loop antenna, and all I'm gonna do is look at this. Um, basically, it's zero span, so all I have is just a, a single line in time, and I'm gonna see this signal go up and down based on how I have this pointed. So right now, I'm gonna just kinda spin it a little bit. Okay, signal's going down. Signal's dropping like crazy. Okay. Oh, signal's coming back up. 
Okay, it's back up. Let's go down, find the null again. Okay. All right, so generally, it looks like the signal is in that direction. So this is our first point that we're gonna be looking at uh, where this is. So as we plot this on the map, we'll draw lines through it and we'll find where this transmitter is. So our first one, let's draw a line this way through our map. Let me jump in here for a moment and talk about my spectrum analyzer settings. The frequency I'm looking for today is at 91.1 and I'm looking at zero span on my spectrum analyzer. Zero span is a feature that basically only focuses on the frequency that you've entered into your spectrum analyzer. It will show you a view like a strip chart. In this case, it's showing the signal strength over a period of time. I like this for transmitter hunting because I can see the rise and the fall a little bit easier. But there are a couple of other modes that this specific spectrum analyzer has, and yours might as well. One is the signal strength meter view, which gives you a little meter and the other is the spectrogram view. The important thing is that you're able to see the strength of the signal relative to you as you spin your loop antenna. And speaking of loop antennas, I know some of you will ask about log periodic and Yagi antennas, but the problem with those are that they're too broad. The loop antenna's null is a lot narrower than the beam width of a Yagi or log periodic, and it's much easier to carry. Okay, I forgot about one feature that I have. This, <laughs> this thing has a sound feature. I don't know if you can hear it beeping at me. So as I just twist it around, you hear how the uh, sound goes down, the pitch of it goes down. That's a lower signal. And as I turn it around, I forgot about that. All right, well, there's my null in that direction. As I was trying to coax my GPS uh, antenna to life, I uh, stumbled on this uh, sound beeping feature, so enjoy. All right, let me try to finish this. All right, all right, all right. Off. Have you ever had an audio issue that just made you upset? But don't worry, because one of the sponsors for today's video has you covered. Angry Audio offers all sorts of gadgets and gizmos from headphone disconnectors to prevent you from ripping the headphone jack right out of the console to mic processors and software to make your streams sound amazing. I wanna focus on something specific the Angry Audio Rave. It's their powerful yet affordable audio console built for radio stations just like yours. The Rave has eight stereo line inputs, up to four microphone inputs, two output mix buses, two mix minus outputs, a monitor feed for your control room, and so much more. The Rave is made of anodized aluminum, silky smooth faders, and tally outputs for your on-air light. Get major market quality at small market prices. Learn more at angryaudio.com. Thank you, Angry Audio, for sponsoring this video. Here off of the side of the road over here, next to the fire station that's out here. It's got this nice big wide parking lot and gravel area. So I've got my spectrum analyzer, got my loop antenna, and I'm again in zero span here so I can see. And now let's Rotate this antenna around nice and easy. Oh, I'm seeing a dip. I'm seeing it climb back up. All right, let's go back towards this dip. Okay. It's over behind me. Let's see. 
I'm gonna put that in front of me like that. Oh, look at that. It is... Over there. Okay. So my signal strength is showing it is over in that direction. Probably up on one of those peaks over there, those ridges. So we're gonna go south a little bit more, do one more measurement, take a direction from that one, and then um, we'll draw all three lines on the map and we'll see where that those crusts come all together. They converge, that's the right word. We'll go closer to where those lines converge and we'll see if we can see anything. Maybe we'll take some more measurements and again, we'll just keep doing it in, as we uh, get closer and closer up to it. All right, let me pack up everything, mark this on the map, and then move on. All right, I'm out of my third spot now. Uh, I've got my spectrum analyzer and my antenna. So let's, uh, let me back up here. All right, let's see which way. Let's spin the antenna. Got to adjust my reference level here so I can actually see it. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay, so it looks like it's in. in that direction. It's in that direction. <laughs> Didn't realize I stepped out of frame. Okay, so it's in that direction. Now, the trouble is with this area is that this is really mountainous and, and hilly. So I might have reflections off of that hill or off of this hill that could give me a false reading. So that's why you wanna have three or more points that you do your measurements from. So. We have three points. It's in this direction. It's kind of tracks with what the other two points were showing. So let's plot this on the map and let's start circling in closer to where those points can, or those lines converge. Hi, I'm gonna take a moment here and recognize the sponsor of today's video, LinkUp Communications. When your content has to get to your audience, you can count on their content distribution using XDS and other industry-leading platforms. LinkUp has provided distribution solutions with the highest degree of reliability for over three decades. If you're wanting more information about their services or just who are they, visit their website at linkupcommunications.com. And now, back to the video. Well, our adventures, our triangulation has led us to this gate. Actually not this gate, actually what's on the hill up here. There's a transmitter site up here. And when we look at where all the lines line up, all, they all converge, that is where it is. Now, part of what you're gonna do as uh, when you're Tea hunting or pirate hunting, especially if you're doing pirate hunting, is you're going to get close and then you start using your eyes. You start looking for antennas, for structures, for things that could support a transmission antenna. So in this case, I know there's towers up here. So where all the things converge, this is probably where it's going to be. Now, if I really wanted to hone in on where this is, I would take another re, uh, measurement here and see which direction it would come from. Basically, I would take that big triangulation circle, if you will, and then just keep coming in closer until we get to it. But again, really, when you start getting close, it's all about the eyes and looking at what you've got. So that is 
tea hunting in a nutshell, pirate hunting, protecting your signal. So again, let's kind of review. Uh, we have the uh, points that we mapped out and I went to each of those three points, took a measurement, found the null of the, uh, where the signal was, the null from that antenna, drew a line in that direction on the map and went to the next spot, did the exact same thing. Three should get you pretty close. And in this case, it gets us pretty close to where this is. So that is it. That's, it's, it's a fairly simple concept. And if you wanna get into it, and it's fun, it really is, um, find your local ham radio club. They may be doing tea hunts. Those are a ton of fun. I did one with a spectrum analyzer company called Enritsu, uh, one of their training uh, sessions that they had when I was in Southern California. And the culmination of the uh, training thing was a uh, transmitter hunt. And they would put a little transmitter somewhere in the parking lot. And with the spectrum analyzers, we had to go and find it. And uh, yeah, actually that's how I got the backpack that I use for my computer from that because that was the prize. So anyways, I am off the highway here, off the road, and there's people screaming down this little two lane road. So yeah, I'm glad I'm well off of it. Anyways, thank you for watching. Thank you for being a part of this channel. I really appreciate you being here. And thank you to the sponsors for this video. And if you wanna see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. I will have more content out on here and there's a backlog of content. And if you want to see uh, transmitter site tours or if you want to see studio tours, well, I've got those right here for you. And until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, keep learning.